So, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Pasquale Stirparo, and uh, today we'll uh, just be quickly go through um, a comparison between the forensics analysis of uh, mobile messaging applications. I unfortunately I don't get to do any more on my daily job uh, iOS mobile forensics in general, but I'm an Apple freak, so whenever I have time, I try to research still uh, iOS and Mac forensics devices. So, a uh, bit of uh, quick uh, background information that is needed. Um, now, uh, when you manage to have access, full access to, to the device, and you want to know where the, the data are, since iOS 8, now Apple kind of uh, decoupled the, the location of the bundles of the application with the data. So now we get a bundle folder, which contains the bundle, clearly. Then a um, data folder where usually most of the application stores their data, and uh, uh, shared app group folder, which is, as the name suggests, uh, the location where application stores data that they want to share or they want to use to interact with other applications. So it's very important not to fall, to, to, to forget about this uh, last folder. And uh, file formats are the usual the, in the Apple environment, which is like plist for um, like usual uh, uh, configuration files. And uh, the data are actually almost all the time stored in uh, SQLite format, uh, SQLite databases. Uh, an important thing to remember when analyzing mobile applications, uh, when we talk about SQLite databases, is that um, the, uh, when you delete a data, for example, when you delete a conversation from your uh, WhatsApp or whatever other application you're using, that is not really deleted, but it's just marked as, uh, can as like not available, canceled, and then it's purged after for performance reasons from SQLite. Only, except if, of course, the developer uh, like forces the, 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 the purge after each deletion, which is not anyway uh, convenient for them. And of course, which this means that you can carve out deleted, supposed to be deleted uh, information from SQLite databases. And this is not only for this uh, like messenger application, any uh, SQLite database has suffered, most of them suffer of this, this thing. Another important uh, and uh, one of the relevant, uh, let's say, features of uh, iOS that is useful for the example we'll see later, is this the um, fade out effect. Um, for those that, are, that use uh, um, iOS devices, you know that when you're using an application and suddenly you receive a call or you push the home button, what happens is that the transition between these two screens is done in a way that basically iOS makes a screenshot of your current, what you are currently doing, so your current screen, and then uses, does the fade out from the PNG that it was just generated. But this PNG is actually stored somewhere because once it's done, it needs to be saved somewhere. And of course, each application has its own location where the last uh, screenshot is, is stored. So let's take this scenario. You are uh, writing uh, to your dear and uh, trusted friend, your favorite exfiltrator, super secret message. You are using the top-notch encryption. You are very careful, PGP, or you use a messaging application, which is, of course, secure, so encryption, you're safe, and you want to make sure that nothing gets like uh, linked back to you. And while you're finishing your typing, something like this happens. So um, two things here. Clearly, uh, first, your boss has a great sense of timing, definitely. And guess what happens then? This, your super secret message gets is lying clear text, well, clear image, in, in your device. So although you send it encrypted, well, your message is, is, uh, is lying clear text in your device. Let's then quickly compare the three uh, applications. Um, WhatsApp, Telegram, and Signal, which are like most popular in any way, they claim some security a certain, to a certain extent. And we're interested in the data trust, not the, the encryption and data transit. So quickly, these are the location where you can get the WhatsApp. This is the uh, SQLite database you, want, you are interested mostly into. You get, of course, all the data and information, and clearly all the, the, the chats are in clear text, and these are also exported in the backup in case you do a backup, which is not encrypted. And yes, WhatsApp does store the image, the screenshot, if, it's, uh, if it happens while you are typing. Another application which uh, is supposed to be even more secure is uh, Telegram, and this is the database you are interested in, and these are the main table where you have messages, encrypted uh, information about encrypted conversation. And uh, um, so this is, uh, the Telegram supports the feature of uh, like, uh, you know, the, the chats, uh, secret chats. So let's see, if you try to search in the encrypted seed, you get this ID, but 
Guess what? If you search in the messages, basically this is just a flag. So your secret uh, chat is just flagged as secret, but is in clear text in your device. Quickly, last but not least, okay, of course, Telegram instead doesn't store the screenshot, they manage properly. And 10 seconds left, last but not least, Signal does what it promised, everything is encrypted. And, uh, but there is this, the screen is not uh, cleared by default. Actually, you need to have, uh, you need to enable, there is the option, enable uh, screen security. And um, so this is kind of surprising for, for Signal, so, uh, seeing what, what they actually, they do, but you can you can actually enable in your settings on the to have this uh, the screen protected, and this means that before releasing the the control of the application, when the the screen the screen transition has to happen, they blur the they, they clear the screen. So what happened? Basically, you have the signal logo when you go to to retrieve the the, um, the screenshot. And uh, so this is a quick summary. Of course, the color coding is from the analyst point of view. From the user perspective, is uh, other way around. And uh, so you can get plenty of information. Um, that's it. I'm running to catch my, my plane. So if anyone is interested in uh, iOS or Mac Forensics and want to chat about, just uh, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to, to talk about it. Thank you.